Yeah, I think whatever you get, you've got to back yourself to uh, defend it. Um, I think we're probably set up potentially to get more um, when Maddie and I were in. And unfortunately, I think when I got out and then we lost another one, um, I guess it wickets make it hard for new batters to come in and score and I think the wicket was a little bit hard to start on so um, I think we probably could have got more but I thought 250 was a score that we could defend and um, we got very close to doing so and it's just a game of such small margins that um, you know like one one ball or one little thing can make can make a huge difference. So I think I think we had enough. Um, we obviously you always, you always want more, but I do think we had enough. And um, yeah, we're so close to defending it. Yeah, I guess. Um, I mean, I was look, looking forward to it. I used to Sophie just hitting sixes and super overs, so I didn't didn't think I was going to have to face a ball. But um, yeah, I mean, I thought I got the ball cleanly as well, hit, hitting slightly into the wind, so it held up a little bit. But when Sophie hit that six, um, I thought we were on here. So, um, but credit to Pakistan, the way they held their nerve. I thought in the field as well, they were exceptional under pressure. They took those catches, they were clean, um, stopped us from running twos, and I think um, that just sh showed real composure and got them across the line. Yeah, I think for me, I guess I started my career as a bowler and as I've, I guess, gotten older, um, I've become more of an all-rounder and I absolutely love my batting and I train really hard. Um, I had Nick Kelly throw me balls actually in Wellington and had a great session with him. Um, but no, I think I love my batting and I, I'm, I just want to keep getting better in, in all three facets of the game. And for me, it's keeping my game pretty simple, playing low risk cricket, but looking to be busy and score. And um, it's just been really nice having consistent batting opportunity the last few years with the White Ferns. And I want to take ownership and responsibility that each time I go out here, I can do a job for the team. And yesterday you opened. Did you enjoy opening? Yeah, it's, it's always good. Um, I got the opportunity in South Africa to open that series. I mean, yesterday I got out in the first over, which wasn't so fun. But yeah, I guess anywhere in the top three, I'm pretty happy. And um, you know, I train train hard facing the new ball. But when I'm at home, and it's something that I think technically I want to be really good at, and then I can expand my game from there. So I, I do enjoy that challenge. Yeah, they've been outstanding. I think their fielding and running between the wickets in terms of small one percenters have been huge. And then their ability to hit all around the park, um, the power game, I think, from when I last played Pakistan has improved so much. And they've, their spinners have always been class and bowled really good areas. But I think um, just the growth of the women's game has been huge in the last few years. Every game is so competitive and it's awesome to see and it's challenging each time you go out and play and I think they've just done all three skills really well and they've kept things simple and, and stuck to their strengths and they've been outstanding. Yeah, we have domestic cricket coming up, so I'm looking forward to that. I love playing for Wellington and being a part of the Super Smash. I think it's a great comp and with the double headers as well. It's an awesome time to be playing cricket um, in the summer, traveling around. So it's um, something that I love playing in, so I'm excited for that. And then um, we have England in March at home. So yeah, there's a lot of cricket still to come and I guess we'll celebrate the series win tonight and then it's about turning up for our provinces and doing, doing a job for them.